Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a project to share with you today. This is Dig, Discover and Display Indian Relics by Crystal. Now I do realize that this kit might be hard to find but you can certainly find alternative excavation kits. This kit comes with everything you need in order to excavate this block. It has directions as well as some additional information. And it comes with the tools you need for excavation as well as the paint and paint brushes. We've done these kits before and we really enjoy them. This one happens to come with some paint that was already a little bit dried up. So don't worry about that. We're gonna rehydrate it later. It also comes with black and metallic paint as well. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is just start excavating using one of the tools that comes in the kit. Because we've done excavation kits before, we have a variety of tools. And when my son starts working with this kit, he's gonna use some of the tools that we got from a previous kit. However, the ones that come in this kit work just fine. This project is for my 13 year old son. This goes along with one of the units that we're doing in our homeschool and he's just gonna work at excavating this. Now this is a days long project. You can certainly do it in one sitting, but I would recommend spraying it out over several days or even a couple of weeks. Make sure that you work in a place where you can clean this plaster up easily. It gets all over the place. You wanna make sure you're not breathing it in. Okay, so now it's time to paint and I'm going to add a little bit of water to this little paint tray so that we can rehydrate the black and the metallic paint. It says to add a little bit of glue to the metallic paint. We're going to agitate them a little bit just to help them dissolve. It takes a few minutes for them to dissolve completely and you do wanna make sure that they are nice and pigmented when you're ready to use them. So our paint did dry up from this kit, but we're just gonna add a little bit of water and rehydrate it. It's gonna take a, a few minutes to get them ready to use. You can always use your own set of acrylic paints as well, but we were able to use all of the paints that came in the set to complete this project. So we're just going to go through and paint each of these pieces. This kit's a little bit different from some of the other kits in that the entire project is contained. You are not excavating pieces. This project is like a relief frame that has all these different artifacts spanning several years and different cultures all within US history. So we're using this as part of our Lewis and Clark expedition. You can also use it for Native American Indian unit study. So now that we're nearly done adding all of the details with the paint, and you do wanna make sure that pieces are dry before you move on, we're going to add a little bit of black wax. Now this didn't come in the kit, but we're just going to rub the black wax over the metallic pieces just to give them a little bit more of an aged look and to bring out some of those details. All right, so this is our complete project. My son really enjoyed doing this. We display this in our homeschool room, and this is just one of the projects that goes along with this unit. If you'd like to see some of the other projects and the books and resources we use for this unit, you can tap on the screen right now. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video. You can find that link down in the description box below. And if you wanna see how our homeschool is progressing on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.